Oh, geez, it looks like we're watching the new season of Rick and Morty. Ugh, Morty, we need to watch more. We need the video to hit 12,000 likes. I heard that the, our Patreon has lots of exclusive content. Uh, yeah, I, lo I love their total drama reactions. It makes my old man heart beat a little faster. Subscribe. Hey, we have new merch out right now. It's spillingthemerch.com. Like this hat, this shirt, also this shirt on screen, and this shirt, and a bunch of hoodies. If you like this and this mug, go to the link. It's only available till the end of July. Buy it now. Hey, Rick. I was wondering if you could help me out with a bit of a rake situation. I asked Gene if he borrowed my rake, and he said no, like like that. Gene is a lonely man. He's using that. He's petting himself with the rake. All that brain, and you just waste it. Uh, hold up. Wait, is Jerick their, like, couple's name? Oh, my goodness. They're beautiful together. But Rick is meant for Pearl. I couldn't see him with anyone else. I became the smartest man in the universe, and do I get credit? No. I get to check my brain privilege. Oh, God, that's a bad line. I'm going to put my mind in your brain, and your your mind in my brain. Wait, they're doing a Freaky Friday? <laughs> oh, God. Wait, no! <laughs> they both died instantly! That's a beautiful thing, like, right there. Jerry showed, like, how strong of a person he is. Because Rick couldn't even handle one fucking minute in his mind. He doesn't even know what it's like to be Jerry. What the fuck? did you do to my body? Your body? Jerry, your mind did that to my body using my brain. Jerry, my mind was in- This episode hurts me! I'm confused already. Oof! Oh, my arm, man. Can we pause real quick? You good, bro? Can't believe Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad punched you the other day. Oh! Well, I think Morgan and Morgan can help you with that. Oh yeah, aren't they the biggest personal injury law firm in America? They are huge, like Jack's ego. God, I'm handsome! What's even more handsome is that Morgan & Morgan has helped people win millions of dollars. Yeah! Recently, they won $26 million in Philadelphia. 40 times the highest insurance offer. And the fee is free unless you win. More money to check out our Patreon. Working with them is all done from your phone online. No need to get your butt up and go to some lame office. You can easily submit a claim done so quickly by filling out a few details. If you ever get injured, your case could be worth millions and you're only a few clicks away from potentially changing your life. It's so easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan & Morgan at www.forthepeople.com slash milk found in the description below or by scanning the QR code with your phone's camera. You call this fixed? This guy, guy thinks, thinks he's, he's me. me! Let's see you fix it then, asshole. I fucking will. Like, their brains are mixed together. So it's a bit of Jerry and the Rick and a bit of Rick and the Jerry. A bit of a Jerick situation. They're Jerick. It just feels like the Rick part of the personality has taken over both of them. One of my guys saw your buddy Morty running an errand and he brought him in, which I told him not to do. Jerry, stop it! Touch me there! Ah! We know where you are. They're like just fucking like fighting the, like they've been married for like 20 years. Their couple fights are more wholesome than Jerry and Beth's couple fights. Let me do the talking. Yeah, I know because you look the most like us. I'm not stupid. Screw you, half Jerry. You're a half Jerry, half Jerry. <laughs> so uh, both the halves of the Jerry, because they're half Rick, they hate themselves. This is my assassin. Deadliest man in the galaxy, and he's gay. Why am I gay? Whoa. Whoa. Look, here's the deal. I'm Rick. That's my son-in-law, and we're all a little gay. <laughs> <laughs> I hate the this episode it's... is beautiful. This episode is nonstop nonsense, and I fucking love every second of it. Look, at this point, we're bad gangsters if we don't roll the dice. Everybody start killing him! Do you think the mob boss got angry because Jerry said they're all a little gay? He was like, that's simply too much wokeness. Uh, hang on, I think I got it. Uh... Right, from my Conehead phase. <laughs> awesome fucking movie. Incredible cast. They're gassing up the Conehead movie? No fucking way, bro. I've seen the poster, and I think I've seen enough. <laughs> it's a Dan Aykroyd's masterpiece, man. I was from a beautiful era where they were like, what if we made shitty SNL skits into entire movies for some reason? You know what the Conehead's opinion is definitely from Jerry's side of the personality. Hop on! Ah! That is awesome! See, if this is what Coneheads was like, maybe people would have, like, appreciated the movie. Well, maybe it is like that. I've never seen it. <laughs> you Coneheaded son of a bitch! 
Can't believe that worked. I wish they did that in the movie. Wow. These episodes write themselves. Or I write them. Wait, you guys did a brain swap? Don't bother chiding until they're unshuffled. Neither one is dad or Rick. Huh. I guess I'm thrilled you guys are getting along. I love this. Like this premise is so much fun to watch. I like how they've come to a nice, like they both like each other now. And Jerry'd still be hung up about the rake. The rake? Oh my God, should we do it? Whoa, classic Gene. Huh. Are they gonna make out? This cannot go to incest. It can't. It has can. to. Who is talking to me right now? Mostly my dad or mostly my husband? This is actually extra weird for her. No one enters my room or touches me until this is wrapped up. Oh, oh, Beth, where gross. do you take me? Oh. Silence. What was the silence? <laughs> what was the silence? They both had a thought about it. You could hear Dan Harmon's soul screaming in that moment of silence. <laughs> Wait, they didn't want to go back. Oh, they're so fun, bro. They're having so much joy. Dude, they're in a buddy comedy. Oh my god. Give me the Jerick movie, dude. Oh, City Escape. Oh, dude, Sonic Adventure 2 moment. <laughs> Do your Howard Dean scream. Yeah! Yeah! Five o'clock somewhere. Five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> I laughed way too hard at the five o'clock somewhere. I need one of those so badly. On a vacation, bro. What's the problem, kid? Conehead got your tongue. Oh, the cone. Oh, what? He's alive? So, what now? Morty reminded us we both love our family. <sighs> Let's do this. Shit, bro. We should have both been wearing Hawaiian shirts for this episode. You didn't get the fucking memo, dude. Jerry? Rick? Grandpa? Jesus Christ! Morty, Summer, daughter, daughter wife. wife. You, you are, are safe, safe now. now. What the fuck? <laughs> Jericky goes kind of fucking hard, bro. Jericky, oh my god. Got a split? <laughs> Fuck off. Was that pun from the Jerry side or the Rick side? I'm confused. Jerry. I feel like both of them would make that shitty pun. This is killing me. I, I thought when you came to rescue us, you learned to love us more than ever. I am Jericky, and I only need to love myself. You can't actually be leaving, right? Like the crows thing. <laughs> oh, I love Summer said, like the crows thing. <laughs> She's referencing Rick and two crows, bro. May as well have your rake back then. This rake, it kept my neighbors in my life. You guys don't give a goddamn shit about Gene. <laughs> what? Dude, Gene I is fucking yapping. I love Gene, bro. Gene is the best character in the show. Our b****s are adequate. Ah! Morty, we're still in here. There's a memory of myself as a 30-year-old. He kept our egos intact. He saved us. It was a whole action movie, Morty. <laughs> what is happening? Being shuffled with me was probably the best part of your sad existence. You. Eat your eggs that my wife bought. How about you eat my shit, you Hawaiian shirt-loving twat? Uncalled for! It's Aww. like they're arguing on like a more mutual level now. Like there yeah. is some character development to it. Before we move off this topic, can I ask if you're currently a hologram? Yeah, yeah, hold on. One sec. Ugh, left a bag of Funyuns down there last week. Didn't want to waste our time. Is this a Funyuns ad? <laughs> this has to be an ad, right? They got the Funyuns sponsorship on this episode or something? Like every episode after this just, just had a hair Funyun sponsors. Hello, I'm President Andrew Yes, Curtis. I recognize you. Oh. In 1961, the CIA secretly relocated the Loch Ness Monster. Not gonna lie, I'm not listening. I'm just like, I'm, I'm in Rick's mind right now eating the Funyun. Is that Germa? Oh Germa! my god. You can't date my shrink. What? Bro, you're nuts. And don't date my shrink. He probably doesn't even like me. Stand down, Sanchez. Tell him to stand down. The professor's trying to fuck Rick's therapist. It just makes sense for this show. I'd fuck Rick's therapist. I'd fuck Rick. Virginia has declared itself literally and exclusively for lovers. There's no crime, no poverty, and suspiciously, no complaints. A hundred percent. Okay, there's some shit going on. America knows and incinerates a cult when it sees one. But I can't do that to all of Virginia. Why not? Why can't we incinerate Virginia? Oh, I guess we'll lose the beach. We need a crack team for this one. Rick, meet Flea Flack. He might be able to tell the future. Might. We're waiting to find out. I really like the character who might be able to tell the future. <laughs> We're waiting to find out. He looks like Frieza if you malnourished him. He sucked all the fluids out of Frieza. Yeah, but there's something missing. A psychology expert, perhaps. Oh, me. You pretended to need a crack team so you could get Wong's number? He's going to Virginia, so he has to fuck the therapist. You know, the last time a state talked that way, we had to have a whole thing. And this time the other side has nukes. Well done, doctor. Call me Helen. Oh shit, call me Helen. 
Damn, leaving Rick on red. Rick's not even in this episode. It's the therapist and the president. This show is so fucking amazing. Rick? Unity. Oh, it is Unity. Oh my god, you you referenced the planet. It actually is bringing her back. That's crazy. Rick. Are you in a relationship with the population of Virginia? We dated. <laughs> That's such a crazy question to ask. Calm down. We came because we're worried about you. You're our business. You quit that business and you're fired from that business. And I'm using your last paycheck to cover the stapler you stole, which was my heart. <laughs> you still got it down bad for Virginia, bro. She's a baddie. Unity is just a baddie. Like, look at them. It's time to put these bastards on ice. Wait, the, the Simpsons movie them? No way. Do you have a dome the size of every state? <laughs> You'll need a second date for that answer. Barf. <laughs> Barf. But I need to reconnect those people so I can properly release them. They're hosting a mindless collective. If it connects to another mind, it could become its own colony. <laughs> oh, wow. You made a PowerPoint? Well, I I've got a feeling that is not a good thing. It's going to be like Rick's child, with, like hive mind child with Unity. My sincere advice is that you overcome your need for approval. Okay. You want to play it that way? There's an exit tunnel by the ladies room. It gets lots of use and not just by sex workers. Can you at least tell security I did the dumping? <laughs> He's, so He's so pathetic. <laughs> I love how pathetic the okay? fucking president is. No shit! Well, stop yelling at me! I need boundaries! Well, here's a big one, fuckface! Sorry. He said sorry! Rick's character development in this show is fucking good the family drama in this is going crazy and the president feels like he's a part of that family actually see president curtis inside checking his phone to see if this will make people like him nothing short of literally a 100 percent approval rating is going to save curtis oh he's gonna implant he's gonna become the hive mind no way mother forgive me just forgive me i need it <laughs> this is fun crazy bro president became virginia the vomit all over their mouths is so gross can we get the president in prison after this episode like like his character arc throughout the whole show is becoming more and more degenerate and this episode like shows like the peak of where he goes with power and it's so upsetting you're rehired i need unity's help so you need to convince her i'm worth it he's taking his therapist to his ex-girlfriend this is such a interesting dynamic i called you multiple times you ghosted me damn rick's a ghoster rick is that true i just think it's very interesting how frequent of a recurring character the therapist has become in the later seasons of the show wait unity what are you doing <laughs> all right rick that's everyone Nice job, Yoon. God, all of America. Oh, she has to force herself to vomit a hundred million times for Rick. This is what it's like to have an eating disorder. I trust you now. That's nice, but I don't trust you. The way he entered that portal is like Mary Poppins, like <laughs> hopping on her umbrella. Rick is kind of like a nihilistic Mary Poppins. Don't take this the wrong way, but I think I might need therapy. If this episode isn't like the best advertising for therapy, I don't know what the hell is. Like even the president <laughs> admits at the end of the episode that he needs therapy. Like, oh, don't do that. You've been doing it for weeks. Every spaghetti night. Every spaghetti night. Every spaghetti. Every spaghetti eating dead people. I want to know their names. Who? Michael, corner number one. The people we've been eating every spaghetti night. Do you even know their names? I'm not That's kind of crazy. That, like today we're eating Jordan. So we were eating people. They were so spaghetti-esque. <laughs> what did he just say? What does he mean by that? Why do you mean by spaghetti -esque? There's like some all-timer lines in like every single one of these episodes that we have watched. It should also be noted to Morty that it's not cool to tattle. Dad, they were delicious. They were delivered for Jerry wants to eat more people. They want to keep eating it. They want the people still. This is the spaghetti of a person that took their own life. They did consent to be eaten. Uh, okay. Uh, what? <laughs> it's like consenting to have your like organs reused for surgery. Morty, how would you feel about being a kind of ambassador? A liaison between our worlds. What the f this is so weird. Consent cannibalism. 
I've been living in pain for years, so when doctors told me I could finally have the right to die if I agreed to be dinner for some alien boy. Wait, Morty assisted suicide? Is that what this episode is? <laughs> okay, what would you do in this situation? I'd eat the f spaghetti, bro. They're already dead. Oh, what the fuck is that? Mortio's suicide spaghetti is 100% ethical single origin pasta. Mortio's! <laughs> With what's coming in from intergalactic spaghetti trade, we've decreased our debt, are making a lot of money. But if we stop this, the supply chain crumbles and kills the global economy. They so quickly were able to make their entire society reliant on their people killing themselves. If you help me, I, I promise I'll never look under the curtain at a Rick thing to figure out what's bad about it ever again. Is this a Morty development? I wonder if they're, they're literally like, we've used this plot structure a few too many times, so we're just gonna make Morty be like, okay, I won't do it again. So, we're back to the regular people, regular suicides? No, no, hold on, hold on, we can do this. Maybe we make them less people? Uh, how much of a people do they have to be to become spaghetti? Ooh, gray areas, my specialty. <laughs> how much of a people do they need to be? This is so fucked up. Kept the brain stem, internal motor functions, but essentially just a headless, boneless torso. What the fuck? It just looks like a chicken. The problem is the, y you know. Maybe give them a claw-like hand so they can, you know. Stab themselves. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, it's mo human chickens. Oh my god, this is so fed up. Is it bad that I'm getting a little hungry? I might make pasta after this. <laughs> You're so fed up. Torso's right! Torso's right! Why is the woke mob always a new thing? Torso right. Hey, what's the fucking hold up? I've got an entire planet waiting on delivery. They say they're out of spaghetti. Are they Uber eating the fucking spaghetti from this planet to another planet? It's making fun of vegans, but then it's also making fun of people who eat meat, and it's also making fun of you for thinking about any of this. Hey, hey. They've really fucking destroyed this entire society. Shouldn't get you all spaghetti. This guy here, he's gonna do the deed, and uh, I'll synthesize it. Fred, just think about your life. This machine will put it on screen for everyone to see. Oh no, don't see his family. This is gonna be the commercial for the goddamn spaghetti. Soaks you to the bone. This, I'm gonna cry, don't. I'll never see you and I. Oh, long distance relationship. He's going to a sleazy bar with a bad bitch. Oh my, f***ing motor flowers are you gonna look like that? Oh, they died? Oh my God, we saw them and then they died. The second he came home, his parents died. I wonder if there was a connection there. He's making Legos. He made Legos? He invented their world's version of Legos and got it through on their version of Shark Tank. Oh my God, it's gonna reconnect with Amber and they like each other. Oh, she's married though. No, 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 no! Why are you ruining her life like this? You fucking evil. I completely forgot they were gonna eat him. That was so engrossed in the story. Bon appetit. That was Rick's plan all along. I think I can speak on behalf of my people. We've had enough spaghetti. If when you make your fucking pasta court, you're gonna be thinking about fucking Fred blocks. The hell is this? Where is the spaghetti? Why don't you go fuck yourself, Summer? What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the new voice actors are amazing. Mm. Is it actually mm. Salisbury's mm. take? Mm. Do you want to mm. know or not? No, no thanks. thanks. <laughs> Just so you know, it's really bad. Well, whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> the things we do for a good meal. If you guys want us to watch for more Rick and Morty, get this video to the like goal that I said, and also subscribe. Thanks to our patrons. Adam Sear, Aromir, Alex McLean, Leland, Aaliyah Link, Alzheimer's is a bad disease, we should cure it, Arachnadroid, Aaron Tateson, Atomic Leon, Austin Cider, Bento, Calm Luke, Cosmic Dega, Dante Estefan, Fletch Trollage, Frozen Spaghetti, Glass of Milk, G Tangle X, Gub Stargazer, Helio, Hummus, Isaiah Alford, K99, Lilac Moon, Lone Knight, Lovely Fish 34, Michael Rodriguez, Mr. Marcus Blitz, Merc 55, Native 5, Ooh, a Fish Being, Omega Waffles, by the way, Penny Pen Pen, Rabbit of Cherbinog, Art is L, Ryan Thompson, Rocky Road with Sprinkles, Rythoka, Saul Goodman, Sir Kaiju, Tieran Stills, Ten Soldier White. T, Val Explicit, Victoria, and Wolf's Rain.